Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with Max Stadium coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about how to set up your own uh, cloud storage system uh, called OwnCloud. Now OwnCloud basically is uh, like a replacement for Dropbox uh, and some of the other services that you've seen where your documents get uh, are in sync across uh, all of your devices. And so any changes you make on one of your devices then will sync that particular uh, folder and folder system across to all of your other devices. And so OwnCloud is, again, it's like Dropbox, only you control all of the access and it runs right off your server. And uh, it is open source, uh, which is great, uh, so it's free and it really is a great service. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get that set up on your Mac Mini server, uh, running uh, OS X server. And so here we are on the uh, OwnCloud website. Again, it's owncloud.org and to be able to find information on it. And as you can see, uh, you can uh, access and share your information. It's got calendars, contacts, bookmarks. If you look at the uh, Learn More, uh, you can access, sync your data, share it. Uh, they've got a new user interface, different search features. Uh, it even has file versioning on it, a contacts list. Uh, again, you can see all of the different things that it's got. Uh, it really is a, a, a great application, especially uh, being open source. Now, they also have clients for your Macs and iOS devices, and so I'll also be showing you how to set those up as well. Uh, so let's just go back to the main screen here. And so what we want to do is we want to host uh, OwnCloud yourself. So you click on this link. And so the first thing we're going to do is actually download the uh, server. This is what you want to put on your, on your own Mac Mini server. And so we're going to use the uh, tar zip file. And so if you click on this, uh, you're going to want to download for a Mac, you want to download the Unix version right here. And so we're going to click that. And as you can see, it started the, uh, the download. Let me just close this. And if you look up in our, uh, our little downloads area, you can see we have an own cloud, uh, 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 the tar file right there. And so we'll be able to uh, open that later. And so I just downloaded that for now. Uh, let's get a few things ready on the server itself, and then we can install it. So let me just put this down. So if you go over to uh, your server uh, application, first thing you want to do is go into DNS, and you want to set up a machine record for this particular website. Uh, if, you, if you remember before, if you don't know how to set up DNS or you haven't set up your uh, the OS X server yet, now you can go back and look at uh, the tutorial series that I did on how to set that up. Uh, you can also look at DNS if you need a little more background here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, machine record here. I'm going to add a machine record uh, for what I want this website to be. And so what I want to call it is I'm just going to put cloud in front of it. Uh, so it'll be cloud.macscreencaster.com. And uh, what you're going to want to do here is put the IP address in, and that's the IP that Max Stadium has given you. So you want to put that in here. Just click the uh, button here, and then I'm just going to paste in uh, the IP address that I was given. Uh, it's the one that you have that's your uh, public IP. Just click Done. And so now it's set up that, uh, that machine record here, and so you'll see it right up here. You can see it's set up there. Uh, again, when these reverse zones get set up, server sets those up automatically. Uh, so you can just uh, uh, basically get rid of those. You don't need those. Uh, as we discussed earlier in DNS, those are taken care of by Mac Stadium itself. So there we go. We've got our record that's all set in DNS. Now what we need to do is go over into the website service here. And a couple of things you want to do. First of all, you want to make sure that... Uh, enable PHP web applications is checked because this is a PHP application uh, web application and so if that's not checked it's not going to run for you so you want to make sure you have that checked uh, right away in there and uh, then what you want to do is go ahead and add uh, a website for what we just created so again we set up cloud right dot max screencaster dot com and you can see that the uh, light went from red to green so that means we're good, that the DNS is set up properly and it should be able to find it. Uh, so that's good to go. Uh, on the IP address, we're just going to put any. Uh, we can add, make this secure, which I would recommend, just putting an SSL certificate on there. And you'll notice it turns the port to 443. Uh, as I'll show you later, that means you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're using HTTPS when you put the information in. Uh, you want to make sure that it says store files in and just automatically create a new folder for you. So it's going to actually set that up for you so you don't have to um, worry about it at all. And then there's one more setting we're going to want to make. You want to come into advanced settings here. And you want to make sure that you check this box for allow overrides uh, using the .ht access files. And those are basically login files. Uh, those are kind of your security piece for the site. And so you want to make sure that that is 
uh, checked on there so that it, the site will work properly for the logins. So it's going to click OK. And then that's all we need to do. We're going to click Done. And so now it's writing the web settings. And again, when you see this little gear going with the information down here, you want to wait until server is done uh, writing the information and setting it up. And there we go. Now you can see we've got the uh, website set up right here. It's a SSL protected site. And so our information uh, inside of uh, the server here is set up and ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we need to um, actually take the files that we downloaded from OwnCloud and put them in the right place. So let me go ahead and uh, get that stuff ready and show you how that works. Okay, here I am with, uh, I've got two Finder windows open. Uh, the first is my Downloads uh, uh, window here in the Finder, and there's the file that I downloaded from OwnCloud. So I just need to double click on it to unzip it, and it's going to expand the contents and drop uh, the information in here for me. And there we go. So I've got this own cloud folder. And this is all of the elements of the website uh, that I need to have available. Now what I need to do is I need to move this over to the folder that was created on the server for the web, uh, website address that I just created. So on this other window, you go into your uh, hard drive there, go into library, and you're going to scroll all the way down till you see server. And there it is. And then we're going to go to web and data. And then in here, Sites. And then you can see here is the folder that was created for us right here. Uh, and you can see I've got a bunch of uh, default information that server automatically puts in there as a placeholder. And so I'm going to take all of this right here, and I'm going to move it to the trash just to get rid of it. And it's going to ask me to authenticate because I'm taking down a website, and so it just wants to make sure that's what I intended to do. So let me just authenticate. Say OK, and now you can see everything's gone. So now what I want to do is come back over here, and I want to select all of this information that I got on OwnCloud. Select all of it right here. And then I'm just going to drag this into this folder over here that I have set up. And again, it wants me to authenticate just to make sure I want to do that, so I've got to do it again. and click OK and now everything's in there right you can see that everything's on that side my folder on this side is empty so I've got all of the information put on this side now one more thing I'm going to do before I get the rest of the of the information set up is I want to create a separate folder in here to store my data I don't want that data sitting on the web uh, just in case I've got sensitive information you can do that uh, but instead I'm going to create a separate folder over here and show you how that works so let's uh, let's go with a new folder inside here it's going to ask me to authenticate and make sure I want to do that. And I'm just going to call this a cloud, cloud dash storage. Okay, just put that in there. And now I've got my cloud storage folder and I've got this here. So now what I need to do is let me put this information down. We've got a few terminal commands that we need to put in, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like to launch OwnCloud. Okay, now one more thing that we need to do before we actually launch into OwnCloud is we've got to make sure that Apache has the uh, right access to the files and things that we need it to have. So we need to open up terminal, and there's a couple of terminal commands that we need to type in. So the first one is for the first uh, folder we have where the OwnCloud website was. So that would be, uh, we'd go under sudo. And then we're going to do put this in. Okay, so you're going to want to type this in exactly the same for yourself. Uh, but uh, this is going to give Apache permission. Now, if you've changed uh, your settings somehow for the uh, you know Apache information right here, you may not put www uh, with a colon. You might have something else uh, depending on what you've done. But uh, that should be the standard uh, setup there. If you haven't changed anything, this is how you would type this in. And so we're going to go space, and then we're going to put the path in to where we stored those files. And then you put in your website name. Okay, so that was the folder that that was in. So we're going to put that in and hit enter. It's going to ask us for our password. Okay, and now it's taking care of that. And so, but what we need to do is we need to do the exact same thing again uh, for the uh, data store that we that we set up. If you remember, we set up that data store folder. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to type in the same commands. Okay, we get to this part right here, 
And then we're going to put in the actual name of the folder that we set up. Remember, we set up cloud, uh, the, the understand there, and then storage. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Hit return. We have to authenticate. It's already authenticated for us, and you can see that it's taking care of that. So now we have the information in that we need. Uh, we've got the prompt. Everything should be good. Uh, now that is given uh, Apache access uh, to that so that those folders and files should work. Now what we need to do is go ahead and uh, take a look at OwnCloud and launch it and see what we've got. So let me put this stuff down and then we'll launch into OwnCloud. Okay, so here we are on the web page. Now what we need to do is just uh, log in uh, to uh, our OwnCloud site. We need to go to the actual address. Now remember, you want to put this up here. It's an S, right? HTTPS because we've set up uh, a secure site. Okay, so that's what we did when we set it up with our DNS. We're going to do cloud.macscreencaster.com. I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to say it has certificates. We're going to say continue. That's fine. And now, as you can see, it's starting to launch. And here we are. We've got own cloud set up. It's launched. It's on our uh, web address that we set up in our DNS. And now we have the site up and uh, ready to go. Now what we need to do is we're going to need to uh, configure this a little bit. And so it's going to uh, ask for a username and password here. And this would be your administrator's username and password uh, for this particular website. So you want to set that up to whatever you want it to be. Uh, so I'm just going to put in a username and password in here. Now before you click Finish Setup, you want to go to the Advanced here. And you want to come down here, and there's a, uh, one thing we need to change. What we need to do here is we need to change where the data is stored. Remember, we moved our uh, information there. And so what we want to do is be able to change the, uh, the data uh, store here. And so we want to put in the name of the folder that we've got, which was cloud storage. Okay, because that's where we want to actually store uh, the information that we've got. Now, you can see here you do have the ability to configure the database the way you want to. You can use uh, SQLite or MySQL or uh, the, the, pro post, uh, uh, the post RE SQL. So you can set that uh, either one of them up. I'm just going to use SQLite for right now because it's the easiest, but if you wanted to set MySQL up, you could do that as well. So you can see we've got the uh, folder set up where we want to store the data. We've got an admin account. Now we just click Finish Setup. And it's going to go now and finish the setup of my own cloud site and take me right in. And immediately welcomes me uh, with uh, welcome to own cloud. And it also shows me where I can get the desktop apps and uh, the actual apps for an iPhone or for an Android device. Uh, you can see I can connect my desktop apps to own cloud. And it has a bunch of different ways that I can set that up, which uh, we'll do in, a, uh, in another screencast. So that's all I have for this week. Hopefully that gets you started with uh, setting up own cloud. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac in a hosted environment.